Good day, and welcome in or welcome back to Grim Histories, where history's darkest moments come to light. My name is Megan, and I'll be your host for this episode, and today we are discussing another deadly beauty trend, the use of belladonna eye drops, one that stole beauty rather than enhance it, and even caused users to lose their eyesight entirely. Let's get into it. The Victorian era spanning the reign of Queen Victoria from 1837 to 1901 was a time of rapid change and contradiction. It was a period where strict social norms governed the behavior and appearances of women, yet it was also a time when the most dangerous beauty practices were in vogue. Queen Victoria ushered in an era of fresh faces. The young queen believed that makeup was only for the stage and preferred those in her court to be free of any cosmetics. However, skin imperfections were considered shameful. Pimples, freckles, and other blemishes. So to achieve the appearance of a fresh, clear complexion, those in the Victorian era had to be better at hiding their cosmetic enhancements. One such practice was the use of belladonna eye drops to dilate the pupils and give the eyes a dreamy, mysterious appearance, but the allure of this beauty secret came at a significant cost. Belladonna, or beautiful woman in Italian, is derived from the plant Etropa belladonna, also known as deadly nightshade. The plant has a storied history for both medicinal and cosmetic uses. Its effects were well known to ancient civilizations, with records indicating its use for cosmetic, therapeutic, and even nefarious purposes. The primary active components in belladonna are atropine and scopolamine, all of which can dilate the pupils. When the pupils are dilated, more light enters the eyes, giving them a brighter and more prominent appearance. This effect is termed mydriasis. In the Victorian era, pale skin, rosy cheeks, and large, luminous eyes were considered hallmarks of beauty. As such, women went to great lengths to achieve this idealized look. They often used lead-based makeup to lighten the skin consumed arsenic wafers to achieve a rosy complexion, and turned to belladonna eye drops to enlarge their pupils. To these women, dilated pupils was not just a sign of beauty, but also indicated innocence, vulnerability, and an ethereal quality. It is believed that this aesthetic appeal was inspired by the Romantics' movement ideals of beauty, emphasizing sensitivity and emotional depth. With just a few drops, women believed that they could transform their gaze into one that was alluring and mesmerizing. However, the use of belladonna eye drops was not without its dangers. Regular and excessive use could lead to symptoms of belladonna poisoning. These include blurred vision, dry mouth, rapid heartbeat, hallucinations, and even death. The blurred vision was particularly concerning, as it could lead to accidents or difficulty in performing daily tasks. Moreover, the long-term use of belladonna could lead to chronic visual impairments and increased sensitivity to light due to the persistent pupil dilation. Users could also develop a tolerance requiring more frequent and larger doses to achieve the desired effect, increasing the risk of overdose and severe side effects. And it wasn't just the physical consequences women had to contend with, the societal ramifications were equally distressing. Rumors circulated that women who used such drops were seeking to seduce or manipulate men with their bewitching eyes. This notion was especially damaging in an era where women's virtue and reputation were paramount. As the dangers of belladonna became more widely recognized, its use began to wane. By the end of the Victorian era and into the 20th century, medical and cosmetic advances provided safer alternatives for beauty enhancements. The rise of education and awareness about the harmful effects of various cosmetics, combined with a shift in beauty standards, also played a role in Belladonna's decline. However, the story of Belladonna eye drops serves as a cautionary tale. It reminds us the lengths to which people might go to conform to societal standards of beauty and the potential risks that they may be willing to take for the sake of appearance. In today's age, where cosmetic enhancements from surgical procedures to injectables are increasingly common, the story of Victorian women and their deadly beauty secrets serves as a poignant reminder. 
Beauty standards change, but the desire to fit into them can sometimes come at a great cost, both physically and socially. History is filled with enigmas and dark tales, but our journey together uncovering these grim histories is only beginning. If you're intrigued by these haunting tales of the past, don't let the story end here. Click that subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you never miss an episode and can continue delving into the depths of history with us. Want more dark tales? Dive into our previous episode and get lost in the stories. If today's episode sparked your curiosity, let us know. Leave a comment below, share your thoughts, and give this video a thumbs up. Sharing our content helps others embark on the historical journey too. Until next time, continue to seek the stories that time has whispered. This is Grim Histories, signing off.